All right, so this is a continuation of a question that's been asked. Now this person asked me about my views on breaking boards, and he's saying, you know, you criticize this person for breaking bricks, but then in some of the videos I've seen you breaking boards and things like that. So I'm going to share my philosophy on breaking boards and bricks and breaking anything, for example. Um, yes, I do have some rebreakable boards that I bought. To, to, to basically try it out to see how it works and the boards I've, I've demonstrated me breaking the boards the, the I bought four of them and I was able to break three of them when they were fresh and three of them at a time and it wasn't easy it was hard you know and when the boards are fresh it can be a good demo of demonstrating powers and certain techniques but the problem with the boards at least the rebreakable ones is that there is absolutely no consistency whatsoever because as you and I made a video demonstrating this as you break the boards they get weaker and weaker and weaker to the point where you could just snap it without even any force at all so it becomes an ineffective way of measuring power and techniques. You know, like there is no consistency in the boards. So I made the videos. For one, it's a rebreakable board. It's designed to break and rebreak over and over again. That's what it's for. It's like it's no, it's no, no too. It's not too different than hitting a punching bag. Like breaking those boards is not too different than hitting a punching bag. It's just what it's designed to do. So, hitting a punching bag, hitting rebreakable boards, hitting the bob dummy, hitting the wooden dummy. I'm all for that. These are what it's designed to do. But breaking boards just to show off, like real boards, real wood. I don't really advocate that because it's just like you're just wasting a bunch of wood for what just to show off I mean it's just it's like getting paper and then rather than using it for writing you just burn it you just keep burning a bunch of paper so you're just destroying a bunch of boards a bunch of wood for, for nothing just for ego gratification you know and I don't really support that and Taekwondo is known for that. I know they break a bunch of boards all the time. I've seen so many demos with Taekwondo breaking boards. Karate's known for that. And Kung Fu's not really known for that. You don't really see Kung Fu people breaking boards like that. It's mainly Taekwondo and Karate that does that, that all the time. They're always about destroying things. But Bruce Lee's more, for example, he wasn't really he wasn't about breaking boards. He would do like a two finger push up, did a one inch punch. He was showing his speed, his agility, his movement. It was it was all like that type of demo and that's what I that's what I promote. You know, like you don't see Floyd Mayweather breaking boards or Muhammad Ali breaking boards. It's all about movement and speed and accuracy and precision and agility and coordination and them just gracefully like doing what they do and that's what Bruce Lee was doing in his movies and that is impressive now what I respect a lot are people demonstrating their fitness you know like somebody that could do like 50 pull-ups and I watch him do it all in a row that to me is amazing as long as he's not in steroids I think that's amazing somebody you know, that could do two finger push up is amazing. You know, there's a there's a monk out there that could do a two finger handstand push up. That is amazing. You know, people that could bench press like double their weight or more, that to me is amazing. As long as they're not in steroids or some drugs, you know. People that could squat a lot of weights, that's amazing to me. People that could dunk a basketball even though they're short that's amazing to me like fitness feats like do what the gymnasts do basically all the stuff they do they do to me is amazing 
that to me is real demonstration of like real strength. But people breaking things, it's just a bunch of nonsense to me. It really is. It's not proving anything to me. Especially when there's absolutely no consistency in how you could mimic these boards and mimic these bricks to make them weaker. And then you're just basically breaking things to show off. But then you're not even really strong. You're not really powerful. You're just... You're deceiving people. You know, like even somebody that could do like 120 push-ups in a minute... That to me is amazing. But somebody who breaks a board, breaks a brick, to me, I don't think it's a big deal. Because to me, it's just, you don't even know if it's real. You know, and boards are just so easy to break that that absolutely proves absolutely nothing to me because it's just so easy to break. You know, like, if... I don't know. I mean, what would impress me? Okay, somebody that could lift up a car with with one arm or something. But I mean, like breaking things. Another thing is, you know, if you break things, okay, you break things, but maybe you're only breaking it because you weigh a lot. It's not because, it, like pound for pound, you're not really that strong, but you're just breaking a bunch of stuff because you, you weigh a lot. Of course you could break it because, you know, you're breaking, you know, it's just not, it's not impressive to me when somebody that's really overweight or just really massive breaking things. I mean, you should be able to break it because you're so big. What impresses me is like pound for pound, like strength, you know, like boards to me. Is like for little children. Just for them to see if they could break it. But if you can't break it and you're an adult, it's a shame. You know, it's like it's an it's like an embarrassment. But yeah, when you put more boards together, you try to break three or four or whatever, how many all stacked together, that that's not easy. But once again, it's just not it's not a consistent measurement of power or strength you know because when you put somebody under the bench press and you have him bench press his own body weight that to me is like a pure demonstration of power pound, pound for pound strength when it comes to upper body you know somebody weighs 200 pounds you blow down 200 pounds and see them how many times they could do it someone weighs 300 pounds blow down 300 pounds see how many times they could do it but it's like when you got somebody that weighs like 500 pounds, 400 pounds, and he's breaking a, a brick. Okay, I mean, like, you weigh 400 pounds. You should be able to break it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I just don't really respect this this whole breaking thing. And the thing about this dude that did it was the, the worst part was that he mimicked the bricks to make them weaker so he could just break it to show off and that is it's a shame you know and stuff like that it's it's fake you know he's he's lying he's deceiving people and when i'm breaking these boards i'm not it's not to it's not really it's not to show off really it's not and it's not definitely not to deceive people. You know, it's like what I'm doing is what I could do. But as soon as I see those boards getting weaker, then I don't even deal with it because it's just it's not a real demonstration of like technique development or power because the wars the boards got weaker. It's not that I got stronger, the boards got weaker. So then now there's not even, it's not even, there's no, it, there's not even a reason to demonstrate with the boards anymore because the boards are so weak. You know, and it, it becomes an, an ex a very ineffective training tool because it's just, it's like worthless. Basically, when you keep breaking those boards over and over again, those rebreakable boards, it's almost like nothing. 
you might as well just hit a focus mitt because that thing is just not doing anything for you anymore. You know, so I don't even promote the rebreakable boards because the rebreakable boards, it's it's a complete waste of money. It's impractical. It's garbage. The technology is horrible. Now, if they're able to make a technology where it's consistent, where it never loses its weakness, then I would say it's a it's a very it could be a very valuable training tool because. When you're breaking four boards, you know you're breaking four that are consistently the same, like, it's consistently the same resistance. And then when you break five, you know that you got better because it's consistent. Just like the barbell is always 45 pounds, it's not getting lighter and lighter. The 45 pound weight is 45 pounds, it's not a lighter weight. All of a sudden, like you go there the next day and then it's getting lighter. It changes weight on you. No, it's like. Like those rebreakable boards, I don't, I don't advocate. The real boards, I don't advocate because you're destroying nature for no reason at all. And then there's really no consistency either in those boards either. You know, so like. I'm mainly speaking against this person for what he did as far as deceiving people and I, I feel that that's completely wrong you know but at the same time people in the movies do it all the time they speed up their techniques they have stunt doubles doing things for them it's like it's just so much deception out there and I'm against that I'm about the real and even the people that are on steroids that's a deception people that are on steroids it's a deception and they don't even want to admit it. You know, because all their titles and medals would be taken away from them. That's a deception. This person right here, mimicking with the, the bricks, is a with the cement, is a deception. The people in the movies, speeding up the videos, having stunt doubles, doing all this stuff, is a deception. I'm not about deception, I'm about the real. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I really can do. I'm not trying to show off. I'm just showing this is what I could do right now at, at this time in my life. This bench press is really that weight. This squat that I'm squatting is really that weight. These push-ups, that's me really doing the push-ups. It's not me editing anything. You know what I mean? Like these exercises, I'm really doing the exercises. You know what I mean? Like so this whole breaking thing, I, I'm I'm against it. I don't I don't promote people to kick down trees like what some of these Muay Thai people do. You know what I mean? It doesn't impress me. People breaking boards, it doesn't impress me. People breaking bricks, it doesn't impress me. But what I will be impressed is if I'm there with the person and say we're there face to face. And there's four rebreakable boards that are fresh, fresh off the package. I try to break it, I can't break it. He breaks it right in front of my face. That'll impress me. Because I know that that's real. You know, I know that that's fresh, those are fresh boards. I tried to do it myself, I couldn't do it. He goes ahead and tries it and he actually does it. That will impress me because he's doing something that I literally cannot do. I know that I can't do because I tried it. But when you got these people out there making their own videos, they're editing all their videos, they're making the boards weaker than they really are, they're making the cement weaker than they really are, and they're just breaking like 50 boards at once, and then they're saying, oh, look at me, look at me. I think that's, that's complete bullshit. You're, you're, it's just like, how do you know that it's even real? You don't know. But like I said... When that monk is doing the, the two-finger handstand push-up, I mean, you see it right there. It's not a magic trick. I mean, this person's really doing it. It's impressive. But then when you got, say, a bodybuilder, he's all ripped up. Okay, he's ripped up. But then he's on steroids. That's not impressive to me. Because the dude's on steroids. Okay, he's ripped up, but then he's not really even strong. So then, 
What's the point of looking ripped up? You're not even strong. All right, the person that did 50 pull-ups, as long as he's not a steroids, I know for a fact I can't do 50 pull-ups in a row. But I see somebody else doing it on video, then I respect that because I know I see it. It's a real video. He's not, he's not like mimicking the video by editing it and make it seem like he's doing more than he really did. Then if he really did 50 pull-ups, then I, I respect that because I know that's not something. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I res basically, I'll say it like this. I respect people that can do things that I cannot do. But at the same time, Pound for pound, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I cannot break four boards weighing at 145 pounds, but then this person who weighs 245 pounds breaks the four boards, that doesn't impress me because the only reason you broke it is because you weigh more than me. It's not because you're actually stronger. Like, pound for pound, you just weigh more. So, in order for him... To impress me, he'd probably have to break eight boards. That's how I, I assess people's development and certain things. is based on pound for pound. is more based on age and just more like they should be the best for who they are. That's what I'm assessing. But I see a lot of these people that are untalented, unskilled, they're not strong, they just start breaking things, just show off, under the name of the martial arts, and it's just a, a bunch of bullshit. Because if you're really strong, you don't need to do all that. Shoot, just do some push-ups, do, you know, one-arm push-up, do some pull-ups, and then you'll gain my respect from doing some fitness, not from breaking things. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like me making videos showing off I'm breaking things with a hammer. Okay, big deal. Anybody can do that. Wow, you broke something. You broke a brick with a hammer. But then you're using your body to break something. But then you're not. There's no proof that what you're breaking is actually hard to break. There is absolutely no proof. You know? But those videos that I made with breaking and rebreak of boards is more for my own progress to show, you know, to have on 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 file what I could do. I know for a fact that those boards were fresh. And I was able to do that while they were fresh. I don't care if the public believes it or not. It's not for them. It's for me to know that those were fresh rebreakable boards and I was able to do that. That's my own progress development. That's not to to go on national television and then fraudulently like manipulate boards or cement to show off to people to make them think I could do something that I really can't. That to me is just a bunch of bullshit. That would be such a disgrace to to me and just to the martial arts, to kung fu, to everything. That I, that I stand for. You know, and that's what the person did under the name of Kung Fu that is very, very disgraceful. But it's not just him. So many people are doing it. Because you got a bunch of actors and actresses that are making it seem like they're so great in the martial arts when in actuality, they are garbage. They got stunt doubles. They got, they got you know, people working with the cameras. And they got painting, painting themselves to, to look a certain way. And everything that they're doing on the screen is not real. It's just a bunch of bullshit. You know, so I want to represent the real. And, um, and also just breaking things. It's just you're, you're, you're not showing gratitude towards nature. You're not... Showing appreciation towards nature. You're destroying nature. And I'm not about destroying nature. Now if you want to break slabs of ice. Then that's fine. You know it's ice. But. You're breaking boards. You're breaking. Bricks. I mean. Put it like this. If they're about to. Demolish. A building. Because. 
they need to break it down to renovate. Okay, then go ahead and break that. The brick wall, go ahead, punch the brick wall and break it. But you can't. You're going to break your fist. That makes sense. You know, you're a construction worker and you need to break down this whole building. All right, go use your fist, use your feet, and go ahead, break down the building. But you don't see people doing that. They just get slabs of bricks. They break it to show off. What are you showing off? It's just like... I, I, don't, I don't respect that. You know, I really don't. You know, so... To me... And another thing is, I got thousands of videos out there. Very, very few videos are just with the rebreakable boards. Extreme, like very few. So most of my expression, over 99% 99% of my physical expression is not breaking anything at all. It's practicing forms, it's safe sparring, it's lifting weights, it's doing calisthenics, it's um, hitting the punching bag, hitting the bob, it's shadow boxing, it's working on the wooden dummy. I'm not breaking things like often you know and when I did break it it was just the rebreakable boards that I purchased with my own money and these are designed to break that's just I, I wanted to buy it to see if it's a reliable method of gauging the power of your technique but clearly it's not actually that th those products are pieces of shit and I would do not recommend anybody to waste their money on that crap you know, those rebreakable boards. Because you keep breaking it and breaking it, it gets so worn down. You can literally just like snap it with with one hand. That's how weak that they get. So what the hell's the point of having a rebreakable board that's never consistent with how many pounds of pressure that's necessary to break it? There's absolutely no reason to have it, you know. So, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't promote the rebreakable boards. I don't, I don't promote breaking boards. I don't promote breaking bricks. If you need to break something, use a hammer. Use the chainsaw. You know, use something that's designed to break whatever you need to break. Um. You know, I promote you to condition your body to be able to break down another human being if necessary. But you're not supposed to be conditioning your body to break down a home. Your body's not there to break a home down. Okay? But sometimes another human being might attack you and you need to break him down. And nothing in his body is like a brick. Nothing at all. You could break a person's nose, you could break a person's jaw, you could break a person's sternum, you could break his ribs, you could break his teeth, you could, you could crack his skull. And all of that is not that difficult to do as long as your fists are trained properly. You know, so people breaking things does not impress me. But if somebody can somehow magically take a bullet to the brain and make nothing of it and still stay alive to keep on fighting then that will impress me but that's never gonna happen you know so people's bodies are very fragile and anybody who's trying to make it seem like otherwise to me they look like fools you know even you even got some of these Shaolin monks you know putting you know like sores by their throat and all this other crap you know it's just a bunch of it's like they're trying to do like a magic show to me it's like nonsense it's like okay that thing's probably not even sharp and you're having somebody do it for you that's playing along with your stupid ass trick okay if you're such such an iron body and you could take sharp objects to your throat then give me a real knife and let me do it. And then make sure that the law doesn't get me for murder. Because I guarantee you, I'll kill you with my knife and my gun. 
So all these things that these people that are doing, including the Shaolin monks, it's a bunch of bullshit. Making it seem like, you know, deceiving the people into believing that they could take, they could get stabbed and not get hurt and all this other shit. It's all a bunch of nonsense. You don't need to do none of that to gain my respect or anybody's respect. But simply do some fitness. Impress me with your fitness. Do some safe sparring. Impress me with that. But this whole nonsense of breaking things does not impress me. And that's my outlook on it. You know, so that's how I see it.